You have to be more shameless about filming in public. I need a ton of B-roll, that's why. But what's wrong with looking like a tourist though? I remember when I went to New York and I was carrying so many bags and he was like, you look like a tourist in a negative connotation. I was like, girl, so what? Put you in danger. What if I was just a YouTuber that lives in Copenhagen though? We probably will have to finish our drinks before we get to the store. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. Ice coffee, ice coffee. I love these so much. Look. Oh my god. We meet again. It's vinyl. So beautiful. I need to get used to what Krone is to the US dollar because I'm like, oh, I want this, but I'm like, I don't know if I really do. But I think I need this for my makeup. I could probably make it, but every time I say I'm gonna make it, I don't. And then it ends up costing way more in materials and time. And vinyling fabric is so annoying. There's so many, these are so beautiful. Those vinyl pouches would make great gifts. <gasps> what is up with their obsession with this goose duck? He's so perfect. <laughs> you have a good time today? I did. We're window shopping right now. And I was just telling Michael, oh my gosh, I saved so much money this season because I haven't bought anything. I have such great self-discipline. And then I realized when I'm here, there's nothing in America for me to buy. Everything I want is here in Europe. And not only that, I was looking at a lot of like the leather bombers and all of it is made out of real leather. In America, it's gonna be pleather and they're gonna charge you like $300 for it. At least here, they're gonna charge you $300 and it's real leather. I think that dog knows me, that's why. Copenhagen wish list. Oven mitts, okay. bathrobe, right. mittens for cold, teapot. This is a brilliant way to quilt because they just quilted out the negative space between the circles. Yay! Whole cloth quilts are very easy to make, but this quilting is so good. It's probably done by a machine, but I'm gonna do this. I could make that. Everything I see, I'm like, oh, I can make that. I could just, this spoon, it's glass. <gasps> I can make this. This is why the brick and mortar retail experience is so important because it does incline you to buy, but merchandising is also just as important. Michael is not the consumer type, but when we were first in here for the first time, he was like, I really like this brand. And I said, yeah. Soap, socks, a hey, potato on a stick. I want that potato on a stick. Overhyped. Oh no, it's pretty good. One that looks like Max though. This one doesn't look like him. This one doesn't look oh, like him. <gasps> oh my gosh. I like how they have hats though. I might just have to needle felt a hat for him. Thank you. Michael was going to show the lady a picture of Max. Other people don't care though. She's just happy she made the sale. And it's funny because that's what real dog owners do. Like it doesn't matter if that person doesn't care. Like we have to show a picture of our dog. 
Max wasn't originally his, he was mine, and so he's just grown to take ownership of Max. Block. Spice wine. Oh shit. I'm just playing with whiskey and rum. That looks like I would pass out if I drank that. Yeah, we should probably get that, honestly. I know, but we might not be able to make it back. We'll make it back. Oh, maybe there's no thing, no alcohol in mine. This is nothing. This is juice, that's alcohol. Ugh. Here's it. Here's baby. The problem is that Michael is really scared about me filming in public because it makes us look foreign and like a target. And then what makes it even worse? Scared. What were you then? What makes it even worse? What makes it even worse was that I'm wearing a huge fur hat right now. So now I definitely don't look like I'm from here. Besides the fact that I'm Asian. Nick was telling me that he has a friend from America. His friend bikes for fun, and he did it to raise money for cancer treatment. I was like, do they do that here? He said, no. I said, it's because America's healthcare is so bad, you need to raise money. Yeah. He said, yeah. Do I look like a mouse eating it? A little bit. <laughs> you know, it's honestly really nice being here in the morning. I can wake up, like I'm capable of waking up. It's just that I'm tired when I wake up. You'd be a ruthless person if you woke up in the morning. My favorite meal is breakfast, right? Why aren't you a morning person? I am. I just don't like waking up early. Yeah, that's not what a morning person would say. They were closed yesterday, and maybe that's why I was so tired and I could not walk on top of the Accutane. My favorite coffee. Awesome. On our list today is visiting all the vintage stores that we've passed by and hopefully I can find something good. I'm not looking at things just to buy it. I have a list of things I need to get. Not Y2K being an entire section. The influence of the internet is astounding. <laughs> Leopard print. In her element. I love these, but I hate the fringe on the inside. But they're cute. The seam and the suede. Yeah. And it's a kitten heel. But it's like really subtle. With like a really nice pair of jeans. They feel good? They feel great. Like I could wear them right now, honestly. I like them. It's so quiet in here. There's no music. It's a meta. I love wool coats with color threaded in. It's a very intimate pattern because from afar people can't see that there's color threaded in but when they compliment your coat they're gonna realize that there's color in it. I love this color. That was the most pleasant experience thrifting ever. Hello! Recognize me now. Me again traveling from the future. There's a difference between thrift stores and vintage stores. Thrift stores in EU are called charity shops, whereas I went to vintage stores only in Copenhagen. I did not go to any charity and or thrift shops. Just wanted to disclose that. So beautiful about Danish thrift stores is that they prioritize all natural materials, things are curated, and every jacket has a lining to it. So 
is a bite of 84. I'm such a fake fan. It's bite of 83.